Welcome to Pathworking the Tree of Life with the Alchemical Kabbalah. This week, we enter again one of the most important paths on the Tree of Life. The path of temperance and Psalmic. This is path number 25. The number 25 shows the number five, which on the tree is power and gavura. And it's also intuition, the teacher. It shows this, the power of the teacher operating through the number two which on the tree is wisdom, hokmah. And the subconscious or the high priestess. On the tree, this path connects the sun and moon. Now it's said that one who is wise follows the middle path. This path of Samek is the middle path on the middle pillar of the tree. This path is also called knowledge and conversation with the holy guardian angel. Now the holy guardian angel is your higher self. It's who you are. It's you at a much higher vibratory plane of being. And this vibratory level that you operate here, it's higher than the spheres below it on the tree, which is your desire body of Venus. Number seven, it's higher than the vibratory level of your thoughts of the sphere of hope. It's higher than the vital soul of Yasod or your astral body. And of course, it's a higher vibratory level than the flesh body of Malkut. But it is all one within all of these. These are all one. The holy guardian angel is the being that one is at the level of the sun on the tree. And this being that you are is guiding and directing your whole life and your whole spiritual path. The more you call on and trust in this, the more you will develop a closer conscious relationship and knowing with this inner being within you. In the sequence of the tarot, Major Arcana, from 1 to or 0 to 22, this is the first key in this sequence to show us the actual path. So developing a conscious relationship with this living presence will lead you out of the astral plane which in the Western tradition is sometimes called Egypt. And the guardian angel will lead you to what in the Old Testament's promised as the land of milk and honey. This is the core, the center of the tree, the heart, or the promised land to those who persevere on the path. This transition of consciousness to a higher, deeper state is not a metaphor. It's a very distinct shift in vibration that the aspirant experiences. And as such, the deeper and higher levels of the tree become accessible to the self-conscious mind. This is where you know what is so for yourself without any outer input. This is direct gnosis from yourself. 
And this is a primary goal in the Western tradition. This aspect of you we call the Holy Guardian Angel is for you and always with you. It's the same pure awareness with which you are aware of this moment right now. The same awareness with which you are aware of every moment. There's literally no difference. When we let go of identifying ourself with thoughts, quote, and feelings, that's up. And the identification with our body as the self. When we let these things, we'll stop identifying with them. What becomes more perceivable then is a presence. This presence is you. Some systems refer to this as the Christ, and this is absolutely true. The Christ as the great solar being. Michael, which in the Western tradition is the holy guardian angel, understand this angel, angelic being is intimately connected to you and knows us, our personality and being better than we know ourselves. But it's the same holy guardian angel for all of humanity. Michael means who is like God. And this is not something that you will figure out with the intellect or the emotions. The Holy Guardian Angel, seen in temperance, is the real teacher, supporting you in every moment, every breath, and every aspect of your life. This is your continuous, constant support that never, ever fails you. In Hebrew, the letter is Samet, which means prop peg, or support. So think of the central pole or staff that is in the center of a tent that holds everything up. We're going to do something just a little bit different this week before we go into reading the key. So I'd like everyone to sit up straight, take some deep abdominal breaths. Deep, deep breaths. Push your abdomen out. Feel that air coming in. Now, we're going to, in silence, I want everyone to collectively breathe this key in and out deeply and its imagery, giving it your full visual and all of your attention all of your awareness. We're gonna do this uninterrupted in silence for approximately five minutes. And I'll let you know when that time is over. And just breathe it in, breathe it out. Let everything be exactly as it is, not trying to change anything, not trying to alter or fix anything. And if you see the mind trying to do that, don't try to fix that either. And as you breathe in and out, relaxed and staring at this key of Michael, I want you to focus on your most subtle feeling. Feeling the presence that you feel. Not that you have to make this up. Just feel what you feel. 
that is present. I'm actually going to just set a little timer and I'll let you know when we're done. After that, you can unmute yourselves one at a time and just share what occurs to you. Okay, deep breaths in and out. And we let's start the collective meditation.
Please unmute yourselves one at a time and share what speaks to you within in key 14, temperance. Hey, uh, Eli, just, uh, just wanted to touch on a couple quick things here and, and really just the, just with regards to just like the feeling of the key, I just had, just kind of noticing this, uh, even more so with regards to the sense of like safety and protection with regards to uh, coming from the 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 size and span of the wings across the landscape for a moment it looked like it was like looking at the lion and the eagle and just the 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 you know the balancing of the water being poured on the lion and the fire being lit, you know, around the eagle there, just kind of this this balancing act, this this kind of tempering one side and the other, and just kind of just this this orchestrating and 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 providing relief and care and you know little little fire when needed, a little water when needed and all that. And so looking at the 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 animals like kind of the Black better term, lower level nature or our instincts or our behaviors or, you know, the intellect and the emotion, all that, then being tempered with the just this higher awareness, just this more, you know, enlightened. I think a word in terms of really great, this like righteous being, this, this that that type of thing. Part of it, you know, as I look at it, it's kind of this, this the actions are there, but it's with the the wings spread, it looked like they're kind of covering over, or kind of just shielding the the animals from again that not to be for the ratings, but you know, it's like it's like here's the sun and then here's the brightness. Okay, we'll give you a little bit of shade and and all that. So with that shade, you know, just so that's where that protection kind yeah. of benevolent nature of it. Um, two other things I just wanted to point out real quick. I was going along those lines. You know, one of them uh, with so with regards to that sense of protection, safety, well-being, good nature, you know, all that. The looking at the Michael with the you know all the symbols kind of going up and down the center at the seven pointed star, the Yod Hey Vav Hey, the the sun or a soul, right? symbol at the top of the forehead you know the, the two things that were jump out were number one that the it looks like from here the looks like he's looking down but in one way it could also be like his eyes are closed you know so just kind of going more with feeling rather than with with calculating you know it's more of a divine calculation rather than just some mm. one two kind of thing so again just again playing with that idea of just you know just the eyes closed just going by pure feeling for it and it makes me think of the uh the other key from way back in like an but when they were blowing the horn you know and then it's kind of like the awakening and, and it was it gabriel's horn is it gabriel is that correct yeah so yes. that and it was a similar thing where it's like oh his eyes closed so it's coming from a place of feeling and all that so it had similar kind of uh, uh just connotation to that but you know on top of that too you know as i was looking at uh michael's face the seeing the the beams and radiance around and that's partly where the whole like shielding is like if it's so bright or you know kind of like the sun and all that and but noticing that the beaming and, and shimmering of the you know that awakening you know is where you see that same beaming there with the crown in the background and with that you know the the pool you know of water with that golden path leaning over there and i think i had read somewhere or maybe we've discussed in the past where the two peaks representing is it bina and hokma and then like the crown being like kethra right there so just that radiance. so just kind of seeing that in the background and then also here in the foreground of just that radiance 
you know, just that, again, it's a very, it's, I find myself in this place where like, it's a very like trusting key, you know, like a, tr a very trust, like trustworthy type of thing. Um, and, and what's funny is, I mean, like reading, you know, some of the stuff it's going to, it's also, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, like probation, right? Try, you know, it's the mm -hmm. key of probation. So it's kind of another way to look at it's like trial and error. So it's like, yeah, try it out, yep. see what happens and all, which, Exactly. And yeah, so it was a lot of that. And it's it's funny because it, it parallels a very and won't go into detour in this for the tangent dragon, but I'll just say that it was a very involved conversation was that I, I had with someone which I cared about deeply the other day. And it was a long and just we, this is not the subject matter we were talking about, but there's that similar type of thing where it's like, look, I don't have to tell you, it's just, you know, if if you follow the right action and you know what the right action is, it's like there is, you know, we're just kind of going into that type of dialogue and and like what happens if one aims for the highest good and does the best they can with an open-hearted nature and like goes to the outcome and you know things along those lines of of doing the highest good in this moment right now and let's see how things turn out and then just going from there and that's kind of where the so it, it, it rather closely uh it invokes a lot of that type of feeling of just whole uh there's it's okay you're safe you know there yeah. there are actions being taken here but it's all good you know just right. you know trust the process as they say right so just want to share that thank you easy something i noticed is if you look at his the lines framing his head and you look at the crown, they're the same lines. Right, lovely. So you have, as you said, who is like God. Yes. So interesting to note, here we are in the front of the picture, or it's closer to us. And then in the rear, what's going on behind us, which is our support, we have manifest in assistance through Michael, we have the proving ground in the front. They rest on a green carpet, which is love. There's the two characters of the uh, eagle and the lion are acting out. But what is in the background? What, what, what is it they're going to? This is where the activity is taking place in the front. He's not only got his foot in the water, he's got it on the ground. So all kinds of activity that we go through and changes we go through are leading towards wisdom and wisdom, which is one of the peaks, the purple peaks and understanding is through the application of that wisdom where you actually do it. And then you become, you become like Michael, which is the crown, that's the path. That's the path we're all on. This is yes. a declaration of what our path is. You are fully taken care of. You have the promise from creation emphasized through the rainbow, all the colors. But this is our path, which is on our way to wisdom and understanding, and they are equal, the equal heights. And they are attained through temperance. So we are in the presence of creation at all times. It seems far off, but it's not. It's right there behind each one of us. And the wings, I always love that they're complementary colors, so they vibrate. Everything is through vibration. And what Easy was expressing, that you've got all the help you need. You just need to look within and you'll find it. You have to have experiences to know what no longer suits you, what no longer works for you. What you did 20 years ago, oh, that we all had a really great time. And now that doesn't work. 
for you. You've changed. We've all changed since the last 10 minutes. So you, you start to look at your activities as, how does this suit me? How does this work for me? My heart is opening up. My compassion is. So that's what's the front of the card. Us here going through what we need to do to be at the point of the crown. And the guidance is direct. There's no separation. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> That's plenty. That's really beautiful. Thank you very much. I had two questions actually. I can just ask one if, if that's okay. You, okay. Can you, oh. Let's let everyone sure. share, but Absolutely. don't forget them. Yep, Thank no you. Problem. All right, Ben. I feel this card a lot of gratitude for, um, how do I say this? For like the lower kingdoms of the kingdom <laughs> of everything that supports our being our body and helps it grow and gives it life um like eve all of it like the minerals the animals the plants all of it is all alive in our body and i see that in this card and it's like our higher selves looking down at all of that and it's helping it grow and blossom and awaken it's all being used our body is like made of it and i just get so gr much gratitude for being alive in the human form that we get to have it this experience and this awareness in this life that's what i feel and the oh and the heart or where the the star is where the heart is and i see it's the same exact color as the background and it's like it's see-through it's like yep. it's transparent. Yes. It's like here I am. And it's just oh, I don't know. It's just when I finally saw that last week when I was sitting with the card, it just hit me that it's just mm. completely transparent. Heart wide open. Yeah. Thank you, Starlight. It has all the elements in it, you know, fire, water, earth, air. I like, you know, the fire kind of raise, rises into the air like the eagle, whereas the water into the ground like the lion. And I love their little feet and hands and uh, uh, yeah. on my, Michael and the animals. <laughs> and uh, that's really vibrant. <laughs> mm. Lovely. Has anyone noticed over the eagle that the yodes make a crown? And also the eagle's five, staring at the crown. That's a good call. With regards to the yodes, the five that are above hmm? the eagle, the because when I see the five yodes, I think like, what is it like smell, taste, touch? sound and feeling right mm -hmm. the the five senses so it's kind of just like engaging with yeah you know, like similar with this whole thing of the the foot being in like the water and one being on the land like that whole thing of like no it's it is a crown yes these are the odes yes and you know grounded you know not getting too out there whether it's like hey there's all of it including the five sense stuff is is real and it's very you know is in court and is part of all of this you know so i'll share my uh, yes so just the the for whatever reason whenever i look at this key we've been doing this core practice for like a week now and I just stare at the one same spot the whole time. And I'm like, 
no, Eli said you're supposed to look at different things. <laughs> and it's just, so I keep what, ending up staring at yeah. the same spot. What spot? The the sun, the symbol of the sun on the forehead. Okay, nice. And um, I'm like, well, no, it's supposed to be about the heart. So then I go to look at the heart and it's like, my eyes are drawn to the sun, the yeah, symbol the of the target. sun. That's exactly. Your aiming point, right. So then it then it occurred to me that that is what you're aiming at, being the um, the Sagittarius, the arrow, right? Yes. And then you look at what what's aiming in this key. You look at the eagle aiming at the crown, and mm -hmm. you see the five yodes above the eagle's head, like you mentioned. Makes mm -hmm. me think of the quintessence Michael talks about all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, the directed energies, if you will. Yep. And so it just so happens that that's also where the path is too, right? So, um, yeah, that that whole line of of reasoning just complements the what the key seems to be communicating and and the way that it's laid out to me. Yes, I also find that those lines above the head seem to oscillate when you stare at that point long enough. It's really strange. That is interesting. So I was, I was toying around with it and I was trying to get it so that it would oscillate like just at the center because it kind of does this little gradient effect. So it's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, I mean, I could go on about it, but that's... Oh, it's great. Yeah. It's kind of a fun way of looking at it. Nice. Thank you, Jesse. Excellent observations. And when you find yourself repeatedly doing something like that, naturally, definitely stay with that. Because the keys will direct you. That's your inner self directing you where you need your attention to go. As long as it stays in the key, you're good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I like but to actually, sorry, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. You finish. <laughs> I was just going to say the lion's also looking at the eagle, too. So that's worth right? noticing, right? Right. And, um, it is interesting, isn't it? So it's it, there's an interesting dynamic going on of where attention seems to be going and yep. where energy is flowing. Yep. Okay, that's it. Thank you. So I just wanted to say that um, when we were doing that meditation, I was kind of picturing myself as the angel and, um, you know, and leading my lower self <laughs> through experiences to try to grow me <laughs> and um and just seeing you know and then just picturing various things and seeing my reactions whether I was angry or talking and you know upset or whatever and all I really had to do was look at the angel and the angel would have tempered my reactions but in that lower in those moments you get so caught up so I just I was thinking about that I'm like oh wow you know to stand from this point of view and see me in all my glory <laughs> or whatever um was kind of interesting and I was thinking wow all I really have to do when when I'm being led by this angel through these experiences is just look to the angel for guidance and, um, and that would temper my reactions instead of reacting right away. And I was also thinking of the numbers four and one and four being the emperor and four being discernment, you know, like, can I just pause a minute before I'm angry or whatever and just, you know, use my discernment to look at this situation a little bit better. And then, and then the number one you know, being a magician, which is also, you know, taking aim. And, um, and again, it goes back to what Jesse was just saying, I was just thinking, oh, well, that's kind of interesting with the aim on the forehead like that, you know, and uh, so anyway, that's just um, 
those were just my observations. And it just, it was just very interesting just looking from a, from a higher perspective, looking down. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Christina. So I want to point one thing out where the astrological sign of the sun is on Michael. So that's typically the what we consider the uh, the mind's eye, right? And and in the Western tradition, that's usually a crescent, right? Like the high priestess, because she is the key of the mind's eye. And here, the sun is there. So you see the sun directly in the moon and the foot of the solar being is directly inserted into the moon sphere of Yasod in the water so this week when you do your core practice i want you to just kind of imagine as you're as you're like you said christina imagine yourself as the figure michael put yourself in that position and I want you to feel the water on your right foot. Is there any significance to the water being poured on the lion's forehead like that? I don't know, but I don't see it trickling down or anything. It just kind of goes stops. right there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you're you're on mute, Eli. Sorry. So one of the Hebrew words associated with this path is uh the Hebrew word for wrath. Okay, but what it really means, it's not wrath like. When, when you hear the term, the wrath of God, the real interpretation of, of this word is vibration. It's the vibration of the divine. So we know water is the mind, right? Flowing through the tarot. And we see it flowing out of the, the orange... Um, picture there and it's flowing in a rhythm right in a vibratory pattern and just like the different colors of the rainbow are different vibratory levels of the same one light like Michael was saying earlier it's all one energy it's all one thing it is and where are we on the spectrum, right? We're really on all of it, the whole thing. But how awake are we on all the levels of our being? That's the thing. Who else? I was looking at this as from what Starlet mentioned, appreciation. We have nature all around on this card. Mm -hmm. We're put into vehicles, into bodies, so that we can experience, so that we can grow and remember our godliness. Mm -hmm. And it's, we tend to complain about our, our bodies and about nature. And when Starlet said a, a level of appreciation of where we are working out, getting to the consciousness of super consciousness, what are we really doing here? We're working all of that out so 
we've all incarnated many times. And here we are in these lovely bodies, each of us, appreciating them. And Michael is assisting us. Yes. It's it's just if you walk in a park now, if you if you move around, if you look at another human being and you see the beauty of creation and all the people around you without the criticism wow. and temperate. And the blue, it's interesting, the, the sphere of the sun is the same color as the pitcher, which is pouring out the water. The orange. Appreciate where you are and what a lovely place to work out to the point where we remember who we really are. Yes. Yes. I, during the we, meditation, I could feel the presence that connects all of us. And it's, 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 it's really beyond words. But in the key, it reminds me of the background that's infusing everything. The golden orange color. That's all. Uh, we, we see and appreciate beauty, but do animals, you know, make that kind of meaning? Self-consciousness, I don't know. Yeah, they, they don't, they're self-aware. Yeah, they don't add meaning to stuff like, oh, that's beautiful and that's not beautiful. <laughs> they know if it's tasty. <laughs> <laughs> a that's pet. true, they, Margo. <laughs> they have a treat preference. <laughs> they know the good stuff is up there on the on the <laughs> counter. Yeah, they're not fools. And those animals that are closer to humans take on more consciousness. Yes, for sure. Domesticated absolutely. animals. Yes, absolutely. Um, which is, and we learn from them. You would think they could feel it. If they don't know it, they can at least feel it. Oh, yeah. 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 Sometimes I think when I, I die, I'll become a guardian angel over my, my animals will be a human in their next life. And then I'll be over there above them, watching them. Mm -hmm. I, don't think I think that, but I do. Yeah. Well, that's a Rosicrucian concept. Really? Oh yeah. Yes. That's cool. Uh, very. Uh -huh. very cool that you're aware of that. Okay. Thank you everyone as always, for sharing your excellent insights. So we're going to finish up on this. This key and path shows you, teaches you inwardly, not through the intellect, not like do this and that, but through the presence. The presence will do the work. You just have to open up to the presence. Get out of the way. Allow the presence to do what the presence will do. And it will transform the energies of the personality to vibrate in higher and higher levels. This key sometimes will test you repeatedly to assist you to break through to these higher vibratory levels. That for many are just ideas in the mind. But the more we awaken, the more we awaken to these levels as real. And we feel them in all of our inner vehicles. And we become conscious there. We This is waking up. The limiting aspects we saw in the deceiver key... These assist us to 
to come to the guardian angel. So, if you feel inclined this week, here's a combination that you can use also to assist you in seeing through the illusions of separation that our senses present to us and as the reality or what is so. I'm sure many of you who have discussed this before are familiar with the classical imagery. It's a religious imagery where Michael's standing over the, the devil, right? Like there's this good guy and this bad guy and there's this, you know, okay. Well, in Kabbalah, this imagery is a little different because it's presented not as a duality. Like Michael was saying, it's one force. It's one life. It's one thing. Literally the greatest commandment, the master said, Hear, O Israel, Israel, the Lord thy God is one. We don't divide the kingdom. So you might want to take these keys sometime this week and just meditate on them together. This assists you in your shadow work. And let the presence do the work. The presence does the work anyway. Our job is to get out of the way with our little mind of what we think we know and what we think is so. So the path challenges us to recognize the one presence and being behind all appearances until we know the truth of ourself. And temperance, will, the guardian angel will not allow us to be less than who we are. How can it? The deceiver key is simply the shadow of the great archangel Mikael, the light and temperance. There is only one, and this is the way. That is cool. Isn't it? So, in astrology, this is Sagittarius, the archer, who aims towards our galactic center and will assist us all in becoming fully human and lead us deeper into our being in the sun. A pure heart's desire and persistence is key. Because we will be, it, our inner experience will be met with exactly what we bring to it, what we open to, and what is needed comes to us exactly. No less, no more. The number four truth about the self. Can someone quote that? From the exhaustless riches of its limitless substance that draw all things needful, both spiritual and material. Perfect. Thank you, Easy. Yes. That truth is operating through the crown of one in this key. So the guardian angel brings us all things needful, both spiritual and material. Like Christina was talking about the emperor key. This key is sometimes called, again, practicing the presence of God. This Just doing the core practice with this will break you through to the presence. And it will trigger any parts of one's personality that's not resonating with that higher presence. It's just that simple. This is temperance. It's what it is. You hear about the tests on the path a lot. That's what they are. And the more we trust in the angel to get us through 
the path through the trials. One thing, uh, one tip I can give that I found incredibly helpful is when I'm working with this keys, I like to pray for grace to, to pass whatever tests may be presented. This path typically triggers our automatic, unconscious, knee-jerk responses. That's a good way to know where your work is. And the trials of this path are specific to each soul according to that soul's needs. This is the teaching. And it's all to become more of who one is here in this level, bringing heaven to earth. This is the path of alchemy. So you may find yourself working with, here's another important aspect of this, okay? We all have our own personal shadow, all of these things to work with, but be aware, when you're doing this type of work, you may find yourself working with and transmuting areas of the mass mind that are not particularly even personal to you specifically. So don't be startled if something comes up within you and you make it personal like it's a flaw of yours. Consider some things may rear their heads up in your inner experience that are aspects in the mass mind that you are being of service to the all with. You have agreed with the presence, the holy guardian angel, to allow yourself to be an inlet or an outlet to perform spiritual alchemy as a service to all. Consider that. And that is one reason sometimes it's said that the greatest service one can provide to humanity is to know the self. This key assists us in accomplishing this. You know, as human beings incarnate, we're only able to do so much for ourselves. We require this assistance of the greater to help us complete the great work, the realization of self. And the Holy Guardian Angel is with you always. If the most simple direct path is to pay attention, be aware of your awareness. Be aware of being aware. And dwell in that. The Holy Guardian Angel's job is to help us be who we are. Remember in the Deceiver Key, that key represents what's called the unregenerated intellect. And all that means is an intellect or consciousness that does not recognize a power greater than itself. And an intelligent power greater than itself. The guardian angel here in temperance helps us correct that error. And the good news again with the rainbows, Margot brought up several times, is we will succeed in this work. We just open our way, open ourselves to it. And this is the way. This process is an active engagement with the true teacher within you. So this week, we're going to continue the core practice, focusing on this key, breathing it in and out, and feeling the subtle presence. Allow it to come. Allow the presence to come. Come in greater presence for you, greater light. Breathing deeply, just allow it to come. At the end of focusing on the key and breathing in and out, I want you to take your attention to the right lower corner and end it with meditating, 
focused on the letter Samek at the right lower. And make your prayer, whatever it is, in your heart. One I like is to have contact with the presence and communion with the Holy Guardian Angel. This presence is the key. Do not allow yourself to settle for anything less. Just let it come. As you persist in this, you will connect more and more the above and the below within you. And you can alternate this at the end every other night if you like. The blue psalmic and the red triangle, hot for fire. Thank you all for your holy presence. And blessings this week. Peace to all of us from the Most High. This concludes our outer class on the path of Salmek, the middle path, the middle pillar. And the floor is now open for any questions or comments. Did you paint that, Eli? Um, no, Nancy. I. This oh. is... One of the first images I generated using uh, AI. Oh. But I awesome. all the input was my meditations and contemplations and associations with the temperance key. That's this really is what cool. It, it's yeah, pretty it sweet. Yeah. It's yeah. what it generated. And I was like, okay. okay. Roll <laughs> with it. Is this mid-journey out of curiosity or not? Is it talk? what? Is this using Mid Journey? Did you use for the? No, I used um, just Chat GPT. Mm -hmm. The four, so I pay for right. the the whole to get the shebang thing. Yeah, no, this is awesome. Yeah, this is. Uh, it turned out really okay. nice. And what's interesting about it, it, Michael's been encouraging me to explore more AI. So I'm like, all right, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm, I don't want to be too far behind, you know, when the critical mass. Jeez. Is. Now, aren't you glad I did? Look at this yes, picture. Yes, yes, I am. So, oh, yes, this fabulous. turned out, isn't it? Maybe. And it's what's interesting is, as far as I know, this is the first image of its kind. Wow. But <laughs> this isn't like special to me. It's something all of you can explore. And see what comes forth, because you know, in on in Kabbalah there are no accidents, and we're on the verge, right? We're shifting into the Aquarian age. So, what I one of the one of the most profound and simple what do they call those little pith teachings i think is one of the terms for it is in in kabbalah it says the fire is in the water and the water is in the fire 